Yes? The police. Yes? What? Oh, it doesn't make sense. Why? What's happened? Where is he now? Oh, it certainly is bad news. Keep me advised. It's worse than anything we imagined. Marling is dead, and the police say Martin killed him. Why, that's nonsense. After having saved his life a dozen times? Oh, Martin says a man named Blanker did it. But the police found a phonograph record of Martin's conversation with Ma Ling just before he shot him, including the gunshot. The police arrested Martin, but he escaped in the police car and is trying to capture Blinker with the police right behind him. You haven't brought the records with you. They're safely hidden. I'll tell you where after you give me the money I need. You will tell me before I give you the money. Delay is dangerous. If the police get me, they will also get the records. And I'm sure you would not like that. You seem to hold all the aces. Now, tell me where you have hidden them. In the safest possible place, the check room. A very clever hiding place. Certainly. Have you brought the claim check with you? And the jewelry? Of course. You will not need any money, Blanker. I'm sorry you did that, Trudy. I wanted to question him. Stay where you are with your hands up. What happened to you? I just shot the man who abducted Ma Ling and caught the one who killed him. Well, I don't think you really believe I'm guilty, do you, Trudy? The police say they have proof. I can search that man. I think I can prove they're wrong. Don't try to come in. Sorry, Trudy. I've got to search him. Not a very good shot, Trudy. And you forget that I know how to count. You fired three shots at Blanker and two at me. The gun's empty. I don't blame you for what you did, Trudy, if you're firmly convinced I'm guilty of murder and treason. I don't want to believe it, Jack. But we all love Marlene. And I can't take a chance with treason. By the way, how did Blanker happen to come here? He brought some jewelry I ordered. Janet knows. That's right, Jack. Well, it's a shame you had to shoot the man that killed Marling. He can't talk now, and he was one of the black samurai. He threatened me. So I pretended to get money from my purse where I had a gun. And I shot him before he killed me. This is what he brought you? Yes. Does this mean anything? It's a check room ticket. It'd be a perfect place to leave any incriminating evidence. It's a hundred to one. It won't help me, but anything's worth trying. Police, open up! Look, don't let them in until I'm well on my way. The door's locked and the key's gone. I'll open one of the other doors. Open up. Well, I guess we'll have to break it in. In this way. Hmm. Did Martin do this? No, I didn't. I heard Martin talking when we arrived. Where is he? He left when he heard you hammering. He took our car and the keys to this one. Suppose you tell me who this is and why you killed him. His name is Blenker. He came to collect for some jewelry. He said he was leaving the islands tonight. I suspected he was wanted by you, so I hesitated. He threatened me. Doesn't look so good for Jack. There must be some way we could help him. Yes? Jack! Well, are you sure that's wise? Well, we will if you want us to. Well, let's hope so. 
Goodbye. He says he wants us to bring the police to the boat where Marlene was murdered. He thinks he can prove he's innocent. Oh. He didn't say, but he seemed pretty sure. Coming along, Trudy? I don't think I'd better. He might not want me. Oh, Trudy, you must forget what happened last night. Jack would really be offended if he knew how you feel. All right, I'll get my things. This is the box that Blanca left at the check room. I opened it in front of the attendant so that I could verify its contents. If these papers are on the level, it'll run the Black Samurai out of Honolulu. But what about these phonograph records? These, I hope, will prove my innocence. Listen to this. For a moment, I thought my old eyes deceived me. If my conjecture is correct, I am face to face with Fräulein von Teufel. And I thought you were my friend. Surprised to find the Fräulein as a man, huh? Of all my friends, I think I would have suspected you last. I am truly sorry, Captain Martin. That's what comes from trusting people, Marling. Now I've got your secret, and after I get rid of you, I'm selling it to the nation, paying the most for it, whether the Black Samurai likes it or not. Thanks, Marling, and so long. Meantime, listen to what I really said to Marling. Well, that proves Jack didn't shoot him. Of course I didn't. As a matter of fact, the bullet that killed him was meant for me. Well, I admit it looks a little brighter for you, but what I want to know is how they got that other record of you, telling him you were going to let him have it. When you were here last night, did you notice this? Yes, but I didn't know what it was. Well, it's an elaboration on American invention. With it, you can use the record of any man's voice and reproduce that voice speaking with any words you care to substitute. Uh, here, let me show you. When I turn on this record, say anything you want to say, but don't speak out loud. Just mouth the words. Now that I have the Mandan's secret, Marling, you are no more use to me, so I'll put you out of the way. That's enough. I'm sold. Does that mean Jack's free? Well, not exactly. You'll have to demonstrate this to the chief. Of course, that's a mere formality. You know how glad we all are, don't you? You better be. I hope I'm forgiven for last night. I'm leaving for Chungking tomorrow, and I'd hate to part bad friends. Leaving for Chungking without witnessing the signing of the Mandan Treaty? How can you have it signed now that Marling is dead? Well, Wu Tan automatically becomes his successor. Well, you've got to stay, Trudy. Well, naturally, if the pact is to be signed. While you people go to police headquarters, I've got to get this part of the story on the wire. <laughs> Martin has murdered Marling. We can use that to convince the Mandanese. It is we who are their real friends. Of course. Have an agent fly the news to Mandan and demand the release of their Japanese prisoners. Shall I have him bring out their prisoners? No. Have him stay there with them. They can act as our agents. And by the way, another thing. Tell him to take along a portable shortwave set so we can keep in touch with them. to this seal through the death of my friend and master, Ma Ling, 
I am empowered to sign for Man Don. We are now prepared to receive the secret of Man Don. Yes? A cablegram has just been delivered for Captain Wake. Uh, bring it in. Thank you. If you'll permit me? Certainly. This concerns us all. It's from General Kai Ling. Mandon has heard the story of Ma Ling's death at Captain Martin's hands. They repudiate their treaty and order Wu Tan to return and show cause why they should not give the secret route to the Japanese. But Martin has been exonerated. I'll cable Mandon. Mandon is an isolated province. There is no telegraph. The quickest means of communication is by plane. Well, I guess that leaves it squarely up to me. I'll have to fly you back to Mandon and prove my innocence in your courts. Isn't that risky? How can you be sure that you can convince them? Same way I convinced the police here. I have the original record at my hotel. When the Losan hears it, he will know the truth. And with the testimony of the rest of your party, that ought to be conclusive. Unfortunately, I've been ordered back to Chongqing by General Kai Ling. I'm sorry, but my boss has ordered me back, too. He says I've taken too long on this story as it is. I think Tommy and I can verify Jack's story. Nothing doing, Janet. No use of you two risking your neck because I have to. But Jack... Sorry, Tommy, I got into this alone. That's the way I'll get out of it. You and Janet better go back to Shunking with Wing. How soon can you arrange a plane for me? You're practically on your way to Man Dun now. Message from Honolulu. Two days late by the date. Two days late. Where would our Fräulein's plans be now if I had not ordered our envoy to take a radio with him when he flew into Mandan? Contact Kusimi in Mandan, quickly. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandan. TBS calling Mandan. Come in, Mandan. Mandan answering TBS. Go ahead, TBS. Kageyama speaking. Martin is flying to Mandan with treaty signed by United Nations. He may prove to Losan he did not kill Ma Ling. If our envoy intercept him in plane and make sure he does not reach Mandan. It shall be done at... One moment, please. Plane is circling to land. It may be Martin's. Maybe, you fool, it must be. Go to the Lausanne at once. If he believes Martin's story, kill him. If Japan cannot have the Mandan secret, that will stop China from getting it. We must act quickly. It is good to be home once more. It may be good for you, but if this record doesn't convince the Los San, it won't be so good for me. The Los San will be convinced. I have heard the record. I welcome the coming of the new governor to his people. I am grateful, Your Holiness. But I did not expect to find you with the enemies of Mandon. And I did not expect to find you with the murderer of Ma Ling. He did not kill Ma Ling. He came here to stand trial in our court, to prove the Japanese bore false witness against him. He has come to deceive you, as he did Ma Ling and Bhutan. When I feel your opinion is of value, I shall ask for it. Did he bring proof? Conclusive proof, Your Highness. The Black Samurai killed Ma Ling and manufactured evidence to throw the blame on me. But there was a record made that tells the true story. A record? The Occidentals have a device for catching and holding sound forever. On this are recorded the last words of Ma Ling as he died in my arms. If my conjecture is correct, I am face to face with Fräulein von Teufel. This isn't the record. The Japanese must have stolen it and replaced it with this. It was Ma Ling speaking. Let me hear the rest of it. But this is a record manufactured to prove Captain Martin guilty. It was the record he brought as proof. Let him submit it. Continue.
surprised to find the Fraulein's a man, huh? Of all my friends, I think I would have suspected you last. I am truly sorry, Captain Martin. That's what comes from trusting people, Marling. Now I've got your secret. And after I get rid of you, I'm selling it to the nation, paying the most for it, whether the black samurai likes it or not. Thanks, Marley, and so long. Does your highness require further proof? After what I have heard, do you still deny your guilt? I certainly do. When a man protests his innocence, Mandon law cannot punish him, but he must undergo the Mandon ordeal. If he comes through alive, he is free for he has proved his innocence. Is there any chance of my coming through alive? For one who is not of our faith, the chances are very remote. And if I refuse to submit, the penalty is death. All right, I'll submit to your ordeal under one condition, and that is if I don't survive, you will give the Mandan secret to China. Your Highness, would the murderer of Ma Ling make such a request? It seems improbable. A clever man, however guilty, might make such a request, knowing it would suggest his innocence. I cannot forget the record. You must undergo the ordeal without reservation. I shall hold you responsible for the prisoner until tomorrow. Just what is the ordeal? There will be plenty of time to explain that to you before tomorrow. You did not go through our test ordeal, if you will confess your guilt. I did not kill Marlene. I find myself praying this test will prove your words are true. Thanks. You can halt at any point by admitting your guilt. Time left to confess. There's more time than I need. 